Well, it's been a 30-year-long tradition that brings speed chasers to the racetrack at the Brainerd International Raceway. Featuring a weekend schedule filled with drag and road racing, it's a way to kick off the 4th of July weekend. Our Chelsea Brown has more. BIR is all about making memories. And, uh, and there's been some fun memories and some great times on our side as I talk to people. They're in love with this facility and it's just it's like nowhere else. With a place like BIR and the culmination of racing cars, the fans and celebrating the 4th of July is what has attracted competitors to Brainerd for the weekend. One thing I do know about Minnesota locals, they know how to have a great time. And the best race fans and the best group of people that you can find are here at Brainerd International Raceway. Many of them returning to the raceway that holds a lot of history. I came here to BIR uh, before I even raced. We used to work in the pits in the Trans Am series for Roger Penske and Mark Donahue back when I was 16, 17 years old. So it was a long time ago. We've been racing here uh, about four to five years competitively. But myself and my entire family have been coming out here since the late 90s. For the second year in a row, the Trans Am Series returns with some household names to compete in a 40-lap, 100-mile race. In this series, I think if you get on the podium, you have to be happy because there's six to eight guys behind you that are just fast guys that aren't there. You don't know until the clock ticks for qualifying what you got and you don't know until 100 miles are over if, if what you did all in these days was was uh, was fruitful to our effort. And in the drag series, the first local winner in 29 years is gunning to repeat his outlaw title. Winning in our backyard, keeping the trophy here in Brainerd was really special, but a lot of guys have been racing here for many years before I was even born. Sharing their racing stories, they hope to inspire the next generation. We wouldn't be able to do this without one, the fans who come out here and watch. Uh, at the the end of the day all these racers out here none of them are pros nobody out here is a professional racer we we're out here we're working in the garage late at night uh, and just having a blast doing what we love and continue participating in the sport they fell in love with as long as they can you know I'm fighting cancer so to me it's probably the best medicine for that it keeps my mind on this rather than this aiming for a title here and there along the way in Brainerd Chelsea Brown Oakland News Races continue all weekend long with fireworks, live music, and activities planned for throughout the day. The Trans Am Series will also be televised on the CBS Sports Network. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.